tennis. It's been played for hundreds of years by both amateurs and professionals across almost every continent. It's been an Olympic sport, a major fashion influence, a classic country club activity, and a stage for some of the most elite athletes in the world. Though, despite the far reaches of tennis culture, I realized one thing. I have no idea how to actually play tennis. Luckily, my good friend Emily happens to be a regional and state champion in tennis for the state of Alaska, and she was nice enough to give me some pointers. Um, I started playing tennis my freshman year of high school. I did it because I didn't want to do soccer anymore, and I really like ping pong and other racket sports, and so I thought it would be fun and I would be successful at it. So. After heading to the courts, it was time to start playing. First, start by holding the racket with your most dominant hand at the very bottom of the handle. This is called a neutral or forehand grip. To serve, beginners should bounce the ball in front of them once, then hit it across the net with their forehand grip. As you hit, try making contact with the very center of the racket while holding it over the ball. This will create a top spin, making it harder for opponents to return. To create a more powerful hit, hold your racket the same as you would for forehand, just adding your non-dominant hand on top and rotating your racket towards the court. Swing across your body and over your shoulder. Once I knew the basics of tennis, I was ready to start playing. After playing, very badly I might add, I was happy to step back and watch Emily do her thing. I think everyone should play tennis. I can't wait to, until I'm like 70 playing against people my age and calling me suffering. But I think it'll be fun. Anyone can play tennis. All you need is a racket, a ball, a net, and a few good friends.